What is virtue for Homeric Greeks? The philosopher Alastair MacIntyre writes, In the Homeric poems, a virtue is a quality that enables someone to do exactly what their well-defined social role requires. Now look at this understanding of virtue and compare it to the way you think of virtue. What is interesting is the verb here, enables. We think of virtue as a quality that someone has, but Greeks in the age of Homer understood it as a quality that a person has, yes, but uses, a quality that enables them to do something. Ordinarily, she would have traveled to the sanctuary by ox cart. These young men considered what they chose to make an issue of. They did not simply ignore their mother's desire as impossible under the circumstances. And then they weighed the idea that came to them, of pulling the cart themselves, honoring their mother's wishes to honor the God. That is, glorify something in the order that was deserving of glorification. They did not simply brush that idea aside as ridiculous. In their conclusion, they went out into the heat and yoked themselves to the cart and made the worship possible. They suffered, but did this. They had the power, the ability to make this good thing happen whereas others did not. Does it not take a certain power to ignore the misery that they must have suffered? Yet they survived it. It was agony that passed. But their deed was immortalized. And look at the smile on their faces. You see this smile on many funerary statues, as these all are. This tells us something about the Greek view of life. Good, then, is tied to purpose. We want to take a concept like good and make it primary. But it is secondary in its meaning to the primary thing here, an understanding of the purpose of a thing, the purpose of a flute, of a mother, of a human being. The purpose of the flute, to make music, is counted worthy of playing this primary role. But it is fulfilling that purpose that is truly good. It is the fulfillment of the purpose that is good, and the good things this makes possible. The beauty of the music, the confidence of the wanted child. Fulfillment is not, in its original meaning, some inner satisfaction that is simply felt. It is not a feeling. Second, it is not a person who is fulfilled, but a destiny, a purpose. Fulfillment means the accomplishment of something, and the conditions for doing this are set for us by the world. Noticed in Homer's Odyssey, in the story of Odysseus and Calypso, in Book 5, he is detained for eight years on an island by Calypso, that goddess most divinely made, says Homer. What does Odysseus owe Calypso, given that to that point she had been murdering Odysseus? killing him, not harming him bodily, but killing Odysseus, the man his body serves, since on Calypso's island he could not perform any of his duties. The meaning of Odysseus's life was bound up with his purpose. On Calypso's island he was unable to live his life. He was outside his own life, like a ghost. He was a kind of ghost, a kind of living non-Odysseus.